West Bank and not in Israel. And that has nothing to do with the IDF. Did they seem to know that you were going to be coming, that you were going to be crossing the border, or were they surprised? Could you determine that? If they were surprised, it shows a high level of incompetence, since it was perfectly public and announced. If, if Israel were to say you would be allowed in, would you go? If they will say that I can just go in in a normal fashion, I don't want their authorization. If they can say that I can go in in a normal fashion, as when I visit Israel or any other country, yes, I'll go. We're talking to Noam Chomsky, who's been— well, what exactly did they stamp your passport? Uh, let's see, what did they stamp it? That actually, uh, my daughter's getting it, so I can see it. Just one second. It says, uh, Allen B. Border Control, uh, um, the date, uh, two uh, red lines across it, and then it says, uh, entry. Uh, and the same in Hebrew. But the, and then the, another stamp says, entry denied, where uh, my curiosity is that the word entry is misspelled. But we can see and you say this was in constant consultation with the Ministry of the Interior? Yeah, the, the interrogator, my impression was that he was sort of apologetic and uh, just transmitting information he was receiving regularly. He was in direct contact with them. But he seemed to have no tenant role. Now, you said you are going to deliver this lecture, but by video conference? Uh, tomorrow it's set up by video conference from Amman, where I am now. Um, I wanted to ask you a question uh, on Iran, uh, this latest deal that has just been announced. I don't know if you've been following the news as uh, as you have been there, uh, but a deal on, um, on the whole issue of nuclear power uh, and nuclear weapons. Iran has agreed to ship most of its enriched uranium to Turkey in a nuclear fuel swap deal that could ease the international standoff over Iran's disputed nuclear program. In exchange, Iran will receive low-level nuclear fuel to run a medical reactor. The deal reached with the foreign ministers of um, Iran, Turkey and Brazil. And Iran said the swap will be under the supervision of the U.N. nuclear agency, the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency. What is your assessment of this? If the <clears throat> reports are accurate, uh, it's hard to see why, on what grounds the United States would object. It's basically U.S. objections. Uh, but what's significant about this are several things. First, that it's Iran, it's uh, Brazil and Turkey, uh, Turkey's representative of the regional powers of Turkey, like the Arab League, <clears throat> has made it clear that it uh, does not it does not want sanctions. It wants a negotiation, a diplomatic uh, settlement. And Brazil is uh, probably the most respected country in the, uh, among the non-aligned countries, plays a very important role. And the fact that the two of them have uh, out and they happen to be on the Security Council, that, that they're uh, 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 openly uh, uh, calling for a, a peaceful diplomatic settlement and opposing the, uh, the call to uh, the threat of uh, uh, any further actions. Uh, that's significant. Uh, also significant is this, that this is, in a way, a side issue. Um, there is a way to uh, approach the, the whole issue of uh, uh, whatever threat there may be in the Middle East from nuclear weapons, and that's to move towards a a nuclear weapons free zone in the region. Now, back in 1995, uh, the United States uh, agreed to that. Uh, it was uh, on the insistence of, of Egypt. This was the review conference, regular review conference. And Egypt and other non aligned countries said that they would not continue with the, uh, the non proliferation treaty unless the West, meaning the United States, uh, agreed to. Uh, uh, move towards a nuclear weapons-free zone in the region, which would uh, uh, eliminate uh, the, any threat there may be, or at least mitigate any threat there would, might be about nuclear weapons. And the U.S. did formally agree to that. Uh, actually, the U.S. is even more committed 
now than it was then, because when the U.S. and Britain uh, uh, invaded Iraq, well, they did try to present a kind of a thin legal cover, as you recall. The uh, claim was that Iraq was in violation of a Security Council resolution, resolution 1991, uh, calling on it to uh, terminate its uh, development of weapons of mass destruction. Well, we know what happened to the pretext. But uh, what's important is that same resolution uh, has a provision, an article, uh, which commits the signers to establishing a nuclear weapons-free zone in the Middle East. So the U.S. and Britain have a special commitment to this beyond the general commitment of the nuclear review uh, uh, panel. Well, well Egypt, is, which is now the head of the uh, non-aligned movement, uh, 118 countries, has pressed that very strongly in the last few weeks at uh, 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 meetings, uh, preparatory meetings, at the review meetings. And uh, the U.S. has, in a position where it has formally agreed uh, but it has evaded the agreement by saying clearly that no such resolution will apply to Israel and accepting the Israeli position uh, that, that explicitly that uh, while this might be a good idea, as Hillary Clinton put it, this is not the proper time because first we have to have a comprehensive peace agreement in the Middle East. Well, you know, a comprehensive peace agreement is off indefinitely as long as the U.S. and Israel reject the uh, very broad uh, international consensus on a two-state settlement. So that's essentially saying, well, we're not going to proceed with this. And if they're not going to proceed with it, uh, there can't be a nuclear weapons-free zone. Uh, those are much more central issues. And it's also worth emphasizing that uh, both the Security Council and the International Atomic Energy Agency have explicitly called upon Israel to uh, join the Non-Proliferation Treaty and to open its uh, facilities to inspection. And that happened last fall, and uh, the Obama administration immediately informed Israel that it could disregard the uh, international agency uh, uh, insist, uh, request. Uh, India as well. It's, Security Council resolution would also have applied to India, but the Obama administration informed the Indians that you know, they could ignore it. They're developing nuclear weapons with uh, indirect U.S. assistance under an Anglo, uh, an in Indian uh, uh, American treaty. Noam, we have to break for 60 seconds, and I wanted to come back to this discussion. Noam Chomsky, professor at MIT, has been banned, along with his daughter, Professor Aviva Chomsky, from entering the West Bank, where he was going to deliver two lectures at Birzeit University. He was barred on the Allenby Bridge border crossing from Jordan into the West Bank. This is Democracy Now! We'll be back in a minute.